when uh, precipitate are uh, incoherent with matrix as uh, in uh, overage state, uh, dislocation will not move or pass through the particle and instead they will uh, bypass through the particle by uh, bowing uh, between them and this is what we call as a uh, over one mechanism and this uh, mechanism is shown here in the figure so here we have a uh, distance uh, the spacing between the particle so the spacing between the particle is we can call it L And then we have a two uh, particle here with a radius r, so the particle radius is r, and so we can uh, we can measure that the distance uh, between uh, these two particle. So the distance between these two particles can be written as a L minus 2R. And this uh, mechanism is quite uh, similar to dislocation uh, multiplication uh, known as the frame rate mechanism. So as we can see uh, in the figure here, uh, the, the dislocation is moving to the right. So when the dislocation is moving to the right, uh, it will encounter the particle, like what you can see in uh, here. So when it encounter the particle, it does not cut uh, so the so when the dislocation uh, encounter the particle, it does not cut through it. So it will keep moving, and what happens is the dislocation will pass the particle, and the dislocation line is being held up by the particle. And uh, finally, uh, we end up with a dislocation loop, like what we can see here. So this is the dislocation loop around the particle. And the dislocation will continue to move on uh, to the right. So what happens uh, if we have another dislocation uh, coming? So let's say that we have another dislocation uh, coming along. So it will uh, interact with both the loop. So it will interact with both the loop and also the particle. And as a result, this will uh, slow down uh, the dislocation as they are moving. And the strength that can be obtained from this uh, bowing mechanism Uh, it can be written as a where the G is a shear modulus and B is the bugger vector And L minus 2R, like what I have mentioned uh, before, is the length of the gap between the particle. Or we can call it as uh, effective particle uh, spacing.
So uh, a yield strength is inversely related to a particle uh, spacing. The yield strength, so this is the yield strength, is inversely related uh, to the particle uh, spacing. As we can see here, the radius of the particle is the, 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 is the denominator. So the yield strength is inversely related to particle spacing. So the strength will uh, increase uh, with a finer uh, dispersion uh, of a particle. So when we have a finer particle, so when we have a finer particle, then uh, the strength, the strength here will, the strength that we get will be higher. So the strength will increase. And uh, one more thing uh, that is very important is the closer the, together the particle are, uh, the strengthening uh, will become uh, more effective uh, since it will be more difficult for dislocation to, to do the bowing uh, mechanism. So we can say that the closer Strengthening will become more effective So the strengthening will become more effective as since it is quite difficult for a dislocation to to do the bowing mechanism